One problem that seems to come up on the CLEP college exam is one of probability in terms of intersection. So in other words, we have a problem where there's double counting and a Venn diagram can be really useful. So let's take a look at this. Um, so in this problem, there are 40 students in a room. 20 of the students are female, and a total of 15 play baseball, and there are 10 females that play baseball. If we randomly select a student, what is the probability that the student will be female or play baseball or both? All right, so what do we do? Well, let's say these two circles represent all the students, all 40, and there's female students, in this circle and male students here. We know that uh, 20 of the students are female and that uh, 10, 10 females play baseball. So of the 15 that play baseball, and this will be baseball here, this intersection, of the 15 that play baseball, 10 are female, and so the rest have to be male, right? They're either one or the other. So that's the 15 students playing baseball. Well, now how many students are left as female but, but don't play baseball? Well, there are still 10 more, right? Because there were 20 females altogether. And there are how many, how many males left over? Well, we already saw the five males that played baseball. And 20 of the students are, are female. So that means there are 15 males in the room who are male but, but don't play baseball. So what's our probability here? Well, we're looking for the probability that a student will be female. That means one of these 10 right here in this part of the female circle. Or play baseball. That's all the students here. Or both. So we don't have to count both because we've already included both groups here. And really, now we're saying the probability that they're female or play baseball or, or are both female and play baseball is these 10, 25 students out of the 40 that are there. And if we reduce this, right, we get 5 over 8, and that would be our probability here. And, and we, could, we could set up a complicated equation, or fairly complicated equation to solve this um, with the intersections of A and B and some, some kind of probability set up here, but I'm not even going to bother doing that because the Venn diagram makes this problem a very visual and easy problem to solve.